Here's the crew of just one of Uncle Sam's many ships, limbering up for the busy day ahead of them. Besides keeping in trim for their jobs, sailors are always training for one sport or another. Ah, but what a place to train. In the Pacific, salt air, seagulls, and flying fish, your daily audience. And the ship's banned to make it easier. No wonder the Navy produces champions. Lots of the Navy boys come from the cow-punching plains of the West. Now they at home with a seahorse? Talk about freewheeling and knee action. Ride them, sailor. <laughs> Just like ducks to water, but a whole lot faster. The best swimmers from the battleships in a swimming meet, and every man out to bring home the trophy for his ship. This may be called a crawl, but with this speed, it doesn't look like one. A relay in white working uniform. All Navy men must learn to swim with their clothes on. Are these boys putting on speed? Winning this race will give those extra points needed for the championship. Seven right out, he's going ahead. And a wide stick! And are we proud? After a cruise or two at sea, Navy men get over seasickness, but baseball fever, never. Indoor baseball training at the Naval Academy Gymnasium. And these boys are getting ready for the big game that will be played when the fleet goes south. Whenever ships visit a foreign port, the Navy's asked to put on an exhibition game to show the natives just how American baseball should be played. Another Navy sport. Sword play was once an important part of naval fighting. The midshipmen fencing teams have been mainly responsible for keeping alive this ancient game of skill. In China or Turkey, at San Diego or Hampton Road, wherever there's a Navy ship, you'll find boxing. Boxing for sport, boxing for fun, and sometimes to settle a small argument among shipmates. And aboard ship, you'll find every known variety of the manly ox. A tin cup game, a free-for-all blindfold boxing match with a dish in one hand. You can tell where your opponents are by hearing the tin cups rattle. A roller skate battle royal. This little parlor game was invented by the Navy. There are no rules and it isn't patented. You can try it anytime you want. Just the thing to liven up any dull part. Another version of the manly art. It looks rough, but they're just a couple of buddies providing entertainment for the rest of the crew during a ship's happy hour. Every ship has its quota of wrestlers and wrestling fans. There's a big crowd on hand for every match. But serious boxing is the Navy's most popular attraction. Bouts are held aboard ship and on the shore under the careful supervision of the fleet athletic officers. 
and from the ranks of shipboard boxers have come many champions. Sharky and Tooney were two of them. Central Park, and a sure sign that the fleet's in town. Though ships are driven by steam and electricity, every sailor likes to keep his hand on the oar. Blue Jackets work hard for the honor of representing their ship in the whaleboat race, another big event in the Navy life. College 11s may train on fields, the Blue Jacket gridiron candidates must prove their worth on hard decks. All right, let's go. 94, 38, 76, 81. Hey, get him in. That's the way to take out a man, Rodriguez. All right, every man working. Every man must lose his sea legs and get his land leg, or the games will be played ashore. Football is almost a religion in the Navy. Lucky is the man who makes the team. Characteristic of all Navy sports and sportsmen, the Naval Academy 11. 